Welcome back, Travis, to the Slot of Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more Sev Tech Ages. And today, I've got a lot of fun stuff playing because we are now into Age 2, and I'm excited. Biggest thing is, <clears throat> I wanted to go back and take a look at this uh, spooky boss battle, taking on Baycock uh, with the Totemic Ceremony. So... I kind of bypassed it, uh, mostly because I really suck at PvP and fighting and stuff like that. But I figured if that's an age zero, and I've now got the Black Quartz armor and, you know, our awesome little um, all-in-one tool here, I think I might be able to do it. And <clears throat> I was reading about it, and basically it's just a skeleton. And so if I can hide from him really well and take him on just by, like, tickling his toes, that might be a good way to do it. So I was looking at the ceremony, and I noticed that... I need this eagle bone whistle to do the chimes of death and actually do that. To make the eagle bone whistle, I need an eagle bone and a feather. And to get the eagle, that's another totemic ceremony. So we've got a couple totemic ceremonies I need to knock out real quick. The eagle dance. <clears throat> the bald eagle is a sacred bird. Some say that are spiritual messengers between humans and gods. Its feathers and bones are important ceremony items and are used to make the eagle bone whistle. And so I need the rattle and the wind chime. So I'm going to go grab those and we're going to get all of our little musical instruments put together. And I'm also going to make <clears throat> something that I haven't made yet. Uh, where's my drum? There's my drum and my wind chimes. And then I just need to grab a little bit of wood here. Um, I'll grab a couple just in case I make mistakes and stuff. Oh, you know what I need? I need my knife too. That's what I need. And every time I open a drawer, apparently that's going to make a rattling sound. All right, so we can kind of just do the eagle ceremony right here. If I put yield wind chimes right there and yield drum right there. And we can just put our totem right ah uh, don't do that right here like that and slaughter all those chickens so i don't have to listen to them um so let's switch this over to the base eventually i will find it there we go totem base there so what i want to do is i want to make a couple of the other items that <clears throat> help with the 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 processing and see so you hear jingles the jingle dress so we need three strings and three jingles, which is three bones and three sugar cane. I think I've got a couple bones now. I don't have a lot, but I've got a couple. Um, 46, right? And that also means we can make some of the wind chimes too. Because um, I believe more is helpful. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe more is helpful from the way I was reading it. So I need some string. So we'll grab a couple of those and we'll make up our jingle dress real quick. So I need three jingles. Oh, I need uh, sugar cane. I need to go down and get some sugar cane as well. And uh, we'll make up our jingle dress, and that'll help with the ceremony as well. Is maybe a few more chimes. I do believe. So I know there's like diminishing return on um, some of the instruments and stuff, but I believe that like each instrument has its own diminishing return. So as I say, if I have two drums, and I might be completely mistaken, you guys can totally correct me on this. But if you have two drums then basically one drum will do its job and the other drum will do its job and they won't necessarily diminish in that sense. Like each one of them can output a little bit, something to that effect. That's that's what I gather. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong and I would love to be corrected, but two, three and jingle dress like that. Okay, cool. So if we put this on where our pants go, right? I don't hear the jingle, but I think I just saw a musical note. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So moving around gives the little musical notes as well. All right, cool. So that's good to go there. Then I want to make a few more wind chimes, and I think that's with... Well, let's see what that was. I can't remember the recipe. Uh, flint, string, sticks, bones, and sugar cane. Okay. Got all of that on me except for the flint. And I can go get some of that real quick-like. There we go. And we'll make that up. And I had a crafting table right there. Why I didn't use it, I don't know. So we're going to make up a couple wind chimes here. Oh, I don't have... Ah, sticks. 
Sorry. Got a drink. Got to stay hydrated. Got to stay hydrated. Working hard here. Um, okay, so we'll grab the sticks here. All right. So, and once again, I had a crafting table there and I just ran away from it. All right. So, wind chimes. We'll make a couple extra of those. Um, I think six total would be good. So, I don't need to uh, make six more. Um, I think we can just put them all in this tree right here. And there's two. There's three, four, eight, five, and six. That's quite a few. I think that'll help quite a bit. And then we've got a little rattle. I can put my whistle in my other hand and I can run around. Oh, you know what? I've got another one. Um, did I make, I thought I only made five. Well, here we go. That's obviously gonna be close enough. It's right above it. All right, cool. So, when, let me eat up a hearty stew real quick. And we are going to take Yield Parrot here. Come here, buddy. And we're going to place him right here in the middle of the ceremony. And then I'm going to go grab some fish because I believe to train the eagle you need fish. Although, I don't know if I need to train this eagle, but I want to see if it's possible. Got plenty of fish. <laughs> okay. Tons and tons of fish. Um, I believe you can train the eagle. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't know that the parrots were actually a vanilla item. I did not know that. I thought they were something added by one of the mods, but yeah, it turns out they're an actual item. So let's pull out our book real quick and see for the Eagle Dance, it's the wind chimes and then the rattle. So I want an empty hand and wind chime and rattle. There we go. And we go back and forth and we beat on our drum and And we should be able to do this. Looks like we're going to do it pretty easily, actually. Perfect. And now give you guys, give you some fishies. Are you, yeah, it looks like you're blowing black smoke. So I'm, aha. And we now have a trained eagle. Let me take that flute out of my hand. All right, cool. So can I pick you up? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I was trying to pick you up. I was trying to pick you up. I'm sorry. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. I promise. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit you. I was trying to pick you up. I hit the wrong button. Now, this guy, I believe I actually have to slaughter. Um, actually, so I'm not so sorry, man, because you're about to meet your maker. Hey and we got the feather and we got the bones is what we need to summon the baycock. So if I read the recipe right, it's one of these and one of these, and that gives us our eagle bone whistle. And that gives me another thing to like play and stuff. That's so cool. All right, so now we're gonna try to summon Baycock, right? And I want to give myself a safe place to do this battle from. So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of relocate here. We're going to pick up all of our chai. Oh, don't do that. Don't ruin my tree. We're going to move to someplace a little bit, you know, a little bit away from the base and not where those stupid chickens are at. Stupid chickens. All right. So I think we'll head over here. Create ourselves a, a little safe place to do this. Oh, got the hiccups. And do I have any wood in here? I got eight eucalyptus. Let me, I want to do like a trap door so I can like get underground really quickly and then do some slabs. You know, but before I do that, the sun's going down, we'll go sleep off the night and then we will try to take on the old Baycock here. So I'm hoping if I just kind of put myself into a place like under slabs, he can't get to me. I don't know how realistic that is, but I'm hoping I'm trying to be optimistic here. So let's head over there. I might need to chop up a little bit more wood. I don't have a lot of planks over there. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I don't know how bad this guy really is, but um, can I just turn you into planks? Can I do that? I haven't tried to make dark oak planks or dark wood planks, whatever they're called. There we go. Just a couple. I'm just, some overhead cover is what I'm looking for. And hopefully this will work. 
I feel so slow when I don't have the sprint on. Okay, so we'll do you like right over here. And what I'm gonna basically do is clear out this area, right? And so I'm gonna dig a little hole like that, okay? That way I can drop in and then I can put, not like that. I can do that. And then I can drop in this hole like right here, like that. And then this trap door can go right here. Um, and I should be able to swing at him from here. I think, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, this concept should work. And let me put a dirt block back here so I can actually get back out of the hole. Um, well, nope, that's not going to work. So we'll have to do this one further. I'm, I'm making plans. I'm making plans. Okay, here we go. So we'll put you there and you there. And there. Okay, there we go. So, that, well, that's funny looking. But then I can put that and be in my little hole right here. And I should probably do it so I can hide like right here as well. Right? And so I can get out of the way of direct arrows like that. And then kind of pew, pew, pew. Okay. I think this, I think this might work. I think this might work. So let's, let's try to set up our ceremony here. Um, so we'll put some wind chimes up. I know these ceremonies are rel supposed to be difficult to do. I'm hoping this is enough musical instruments to do it. Um, let's put our totem like right here. And there you go, totem bass, good. And then we'll do the drum somewhere around here. Where's my drum at? There it is. Drum right here. And then I'll have all my musical instruments in my hand and stuff like that. Okay. <clears throat> Here's to hoping. So let's look up the ceremony. It, I know the eagle whistle is part of it. I can't remember the other part. Um, so it's the chimes and the bone whistle. Okay. So let's get you out of my hand. Shift right click. I hope I don't die. <laughs> I tried to do my studies. It looks like I'm good. It's starting to catch up. It's starting to catch up. Okay, good. So, I'll close you off. There he is. Okay, there he is. Where, where are you at? Come here, dude. Ooh. How much health do you have, man? Come here. Oh, you can't hit me right now, can you? If you can, you're not hitting me. Well, this was nowhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be. But I guess that was a safe way to do it. Um, Unlock stage Baycock. You've learned how to craft arrows. Well, okay, cool. And look at all these goodies. Oh, look at all these arrows and stuff. All right. Well, we've got Baycock's bow. And I know that's supposed to be a pretty bad mamma jamma, so that's cool. And I got a skeleton skull out of it. So, cool. Let's go dump some of these items in the hole over here. I don't need you right now. Um, the dirt I can do without. Although I wouldn't mind filling that hole. A flint arrow. I only got two arrows. Oh, and bone arrows. <clears throat> um, it should leave me enough room to pick up everything, right? Because you don't get picked up. You just break. Pick you up. Pick up all my wind chimes. And cool. And now I can craft arrows, which is nice, because now I can start taking odd mobs from a, a greater distance. Let's just clean this whole area up. Come on. There we go. I hear a skeleton somewhere. Anybody else hear that? I hear a skeleton somewhere. Um, horse in a hole. He's been there for a while now. I think he's going to be there for a while. Um, where all that stuff? There's the dirt. I want the dirt. Thank you. 
so I can fill that hole. I hate making holes and leaving them. I like to fill them back in. And dirt there. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, cool. So we now have Baycock's bow. That's really cool. Um, ammo 14. Oh, it actually tracks all that stuff. That's actually really cool. Cool. So fully complete now. I feel so much better now. So it's definitely time to start looking at some of this age two stuff. We're gonna go clean up our inventory a little bit and then take a look at some more of this age two stuff that we can get started on. I'm, I'm, I'm happy right now. I know I'm not like my normal energetic self. It's been a, a long day at work and stuff like that, but I am super excited to get going on this stuff. And I love the fact that, uh, Oh, I can take off that jingle dress and uh, get going on some new, you know, avenues and new stuff that we haven't done before. So I am super hyped about it and I'm just kind of preoccupied with putting all this stuff away and cleaning up my inventory. Um, I don't have a place for that, so I'll just put you guys over here. Um, I'll call fish. Well, yeah, I've got fish in there anyway, so string. I wish I really would put these all in like the same one at the same time. I know I don't have room for the bowl, so I'll put that there. You can go in there. You don't have room in there. Apples, you've got a spot there. Uh, tool, there you go. Okay, cool. So you guys go there. Um, Totemicpedia, my map. All right, cool. I'm just going to toss this wood for right now. Wood's kind of valuable, but at the same time, I can always go get more. All right, cool. So all situated now. I'm going to go just put my totemic book back and we are going to go. Oh, I still had you in my hand, didn't I? Didn't I? You were hiding in my hand. Oh, and I guess the the skeleton skull, I could probably put that in the mob drops as well. And we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, cool. So we are good. All right, cool. So let's take a look at some of this age two stuff we can start dipping into. Obviously, I want to take a look at tinkers. Um, I'm pretty sure I can make some better tools than what I have right now. Um, the pathway looks like it's going to be following this astral sorcery stuff. Acquire constellation paper to fill the information in your astral sorcery journal. I don't know how to do that yet. Um, oh, glass. You know what? Putting some windows in would be really nice. Let's go get some sand and search some glass up. Now that I can actually make glass. That's awesome. I've been waiting for that. My windows. Not, not digging on not having windows. Um. You know, we, we don't need a lot right now. Six is going to give me 16, and I don't have a lot of windows to fill at the moment, so that should be enough. So let's throw some in here. Wait, tell me. It just said glass. I can make glass. Create glass by first melting sand in the melter or smeltery and pouring it into a basin. Oh. Okay, okay. So we got to make Tinker's glass instead of regular vanilla glass. And like spike. There we go. All right. So the melter. It's easy peasy. We got that. Um, which one's empty? This one's empty, right? Actually, these boats should be empty. Yeah. We'll put you in here. All right. You're going to start smelting up. Cool. So we've got that going. And then the other thing it says is uh, crafting a tough dowsing rod. I don't know. If that's going to be really all that useful, but it is part of the thing. So this tool may only be used for or in age two and below. Interesting. So that's going to be a piece of glass with, does it have to be stripped logs or is it just doing stripped logs right now? Nope. No, okay. Just regular logs and coal or charcoal. Okay. So you're going to take a minute. Let's see what else we can kind of look at while we're doing this. Um, wool. Let's see what we can do to make wool now. Is that just with string now? No, it's not. This is an interesting recipe. Uh, a block of wicker and four fleece. A block of wicker is huh, four pieces of wicker, which is four sugarcane. Okay, so we need 16 sugarcane, which I just put away. And I'm pretty sure I have fleece and I got to put that flute away or that's going to drive me nuts every time I try to like open something. All right, so you go in there and sugarcane. I'm going to need 16 of you, please. There we go. So you make wicker and you make the wicker block and fleece. Oh, that was in this drawer, wasn't it? 
Um, did I cut up all my fleece? <gasps> no. I did not realize I turned all my fleece into string. I'm going to have to go find some sheepies. Oh, man. I'm looking and hoping I'm just not seeing it and it's there. Well, there is one thing. I just saw something that made me want to make something else. I was doing a little bit of research. And I noticed... No, nope, mom knows. That I can actually make a uh, backpack. So I want to do that real quick. And the sun is setting, so let's go sleep off the day. <clears throat> I think a backpack will be really helpful because I can carry some of my tools around me at all times, which would be really, really nice. And boom, and we're awake. All right, cool. So let's go make our backpack first. This is one that I think I was already able to do it, but I misread the recipe. And so there we go, there's that. And then if I craft it, I just want to change it over to purple. I'm a diehard Vikings fan, and so a purple backpack would be cool. There we go, purple backpack. And then we can put stuff in here. Not a lot of storage space, but some. And eventually I'm sure we can upgrade it. But we do need to go find some sheep. I don't know what the best way to get sheep over on our island is, because I haven't seen any on this island. But I might start doing some like, you know, makeshift bridges just so I can transfer from island to island to island because I think there's some on the very next island over. So that's something to look into. But there's other stuff we can do other than just the wool right now. So let's look at what else we can do. Um, there is the between lands. So locate a druid circle in a swamp biome, kill the druids, use their talisman pieces to create the swamp talisman, click the talisman on a placed sapling to create the large portal of the between land. <clears throat> let's go check out a swamp. Let us go do that. I looked at some of these. Like, I want to get going on some better storage. But we don't have too much stuff yet. So I'm not overly concerned about storage, per se. I'm kind of okay with where we are in that. Um, but, you know, another land. That would always be cool. So we're looking for these druid guys. I figure if I can take on Baycock so easily. Of course, I hid from him. Um that we should be able to take on these little druids. And I've got some decent armor. I put my armor back on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I took off that jingle dress. Um, so hopefully we can find one of these druid circles it's speaking of. Hey, get back here. There we go. So let's go hunt down a druid circle now. And I always come to the wrong island and I always got to... <laughs> Get on my boat and go further, or just hurry up and swim. All right, so I don't know what mod, or I, I don't know anything about the in-between lens. Let's just say that. I was going to say mod, but I'm sure that's probably the mod. <coughs> uh, in-between. No, that's, that's what it was just called, right? The in-between lens? The between lens. Okay, let's, let's check that out real quick. Um, at between what are you doing i just my goodness at between okay so that is a mod um some interesting stuff some very slimy looking stuff interesting a present um it looks like potions of sorts that i can't make i can make a octane ingot with some climbing rope <laughs> to make a caving rope press v to connect or disconnect that's interesting all right well let's go look for one of these druid circles i would have thought i would have seen one already but maybe they don't appear until the age two starts and then they kind of pop up i don't know but it shouldn't take too long to find one right not if they're not if they exist so we'll go hunting See, I would love to be able to bring my horse for some of these. It would just be nice. Maybe I'll grab a sheep and take it with me if I see one. There's a bear. Don't want to mess with you right now. Another bear. Don't want to mess with you right now. I'm just looking for one of these druid circles. Is that a dark lens over there that I'm looking at? What is that? I don't remember there being a Darklands over here. How did I not notice that before? Hmm. 
Okay. So we're searching. I would like to think that it shouldn't be too difficult to find. But you never know. You never know. And what is this? What is this? Bitumen? I don't know what that is. Is that a block? Or is that a it looks like a liquid. Yeah, that looks like a liquid. I don't want to fall in that on the can. It's like oil and I can't get out of it. <clears throat> so we'll just kind of ignore it for right now. And we will keep searching for... Oh, sheepy. Hello, sheepy. Um, I don't want to kill you. I don't have my shears on me. Um, I don't know how much fleece you're going to give me. I only need four. <laughs> I guess I can kill the sheep and hope I find more later. I feel like I'm just a little too far to take them with me. So, Yeah, as you can see, I've been over here before. Um, where are the rest of the sheepy... I don't remember this. I would have recognized this cave, I think. Maybe I just didn't pay close attention when I was running around. Who knows? Let's see. The Druid Circle and Sheep. That's kind of what I'm looking for right now. Um, is this... Oh, that's just flowers. I don't see a Druid Circle. There's another swamp right there we can go check out. And apparently there's zombies underground around here. Um... Yeah, we'll just keep searching. We'll go over to this area over here and see if we can find anything. Let me eat some up real quick. I run around too much. I know. Like, everywhere I go, I run. Run and jump. Not the best way to keep your uh, saturation up, I know. But hopefully we can find this Druid Circle and maybe get the in-between lens thing done. Let's come over here right to this side of the island. And we'll check out the whole swamp here. Hopefully these guys aren't too mean. That's basically what I'm hoping for is not such mean creatures. Can I be that lucky? Probably not. I love how the boat just catches up. I think I've said that multiple times. I just think it's so funny how it comes and catches up later. Um, oh, I saw that mushroom top and it was like, different block. Uh... Oh, there's another slot. Man, I went so far and there's another freaking Ashagath layer right there. Oh my goodness. That would have been so nice to have noticed it before. Oh my gosh, there's another one right here. How did I not see all these before? Oh my gosh, and it's full. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Leave me alone. I'm going. I hear you. Don't bother me. I'm not here to mess with you guys. I'm looking for someone else right now. I'm looking for druids. And I'm not finding any. What? What am I looking for? I don't even know what they look like, so I really don't know what I'm looking for, which is kind of the funny part. Um, swamp is running out over here. Looks like a, a lava. Ooh, careful how you jump up. Ooh, what is this? Hematite. Let's look that up real quick. You. Iron ore. Okay. So we can start making some iron now. Apparently that opened up in age two. I guess there's going to be quite a few more ores I can actually get now. Let's... I was going to say let's look for that, but... Anytime I see these, I'm stealing them because I just have a feeling we're going to need them. That's why they're around. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing this druid circle that it's talking about. And I, I feel as though I should be able to find one. Let's get up a little higher and look. Maybe I'm just not... What's the burning noise? I hear burning. Do we see anything that looks like it could be a druid circle? <gasps> That's got to be it right there. We found it. We found it. Alright, so we got to kill the druids. That's what it said, right? Before I get too far into this. <clears throat> Locate a druid circle in the swamp biome. Kill the druids and use the talisman pieces to create the swamp talisman. Click the talisman on a place sapling to create the large portal of the between lands. Okay. So. Uh... Oh. Oh, he's. Whoa. Hey, that's not very nice. Ah, uh, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. 
All right, so did I get the talisman? I didn't get a talisman. I got some flowers. I didn't get a talisman. Oh, come on. Are these the things I need? Is it that thing right there? I, I don't want another one of those spawning while I'm here. What is this? Dark Druid Altar? Okay, so am I trying to get these? No, that's a rune stone. A talisman's like an item. Like, you know, it's like, it's got value to it. Like, if I remember correctly, you know, just like a talisman. Oh, there's a couple of them. Don't you dare try to lift me up. Back off. No, screw you. Don't you try to lift me up. Fortunately, they don't hit that hard and they're not that difficult to kill. Come on, did either of you guys give me one? Did I see another one in there? Okay, so we're just fighting these guys. Maybe I gotta kill a certain amount of them? Hey, I saw you, where'd you go? Yeah, you can't lift me up if I'm standing under a tree. Ha ha ha. Hey, back up. Don't you dare lift me up. So rude. So rude. All right, let's get our health back up here. Okay, you probably warped behind me, didn't you? Yes, you did. I mean, this is cool. This is something different. I've never done this before. And I love the look of these rune stones. Those are really cool. I still haven't got a talisman, though. Do I get it from here? Interesting looking stuff here. I'm going to have to look into this mod a little bit more, but... Right now, I'm just going to keep killing these guys until I get something. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. oh, there you are. You can't hurt me. I'm untouchable. Now, back off. All right, let's get our... You know, let me get my saturation up a little bit. So I start regening some hearts here. All right. Oh, and it's nighttime, so now I'm going to start getting hit by other mobs. That's not cool. I wish I brought my sleeping mat with me. Still no talismans. I'm kind of upset about this. And uh, they seem to have stopped spawning in. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You're going to climb? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Could have sworn I heard. Yeah, I was like, I could have sworn I heard more than one roar. Well, they're not super difficult to fight, so that's good. Oh, stop trying to lift me up. That's so rude. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, so I got a bone. All right, swamp talisman piece. Do I got to keep doing this and get more of them? Because I noticed that that's one of the pieces right here. And it looks like there's four more. I wonder if I put it in here and then it gives me the thing I need to put on the, um, to, to click the tree with. Oh, oh, come on. Really? Now you're going to give me zombies and these guys? Come on. No, don't you dare. You put me down. Hey, they're kind of annoying. They're kind of annoying. All right. Come on, guys. You keep coming. Uh, okay, I got another one. Okay, so I got two. So I need two more, it looks like. Let me pop them in here real quick. Right there and right there. Yep. Okay. I hear you. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Don't you dare try to get behind me. All right, not bad. Oh, there's another one around here somewhere. He's moving me. That can't have been the one that was dying, was it? You know what? I'm going to make all these leaves go away so I can see clearly. All right, where are you at? I hear you, Zombert. Oh, you're not a Zombert. You're a death ghoul. Ah! Come on, you guys. Come on, really? No, 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 no. You stop throwing me around. Stop throwing me around. Man, you guys are annoying. No, not... I'm trying to get down to you, and you keep throwing me up really annoying it's not a fair fight when you just 
toss me around. Okay, you guys want some? <clears throat> take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Uh, get on the tree. There we go. Depth school. I want the. I think these guys hit hard, and I don't want to mess with them. Hey, hey! Careful. Hearts are getting low. Hearts are getting low. Gotta feed myself. Gotta feed myself. Oh my god, you guys are everywhere. Alright, have I gotten any more of them? One, two. Looks like I still only have two of them. <sighs> Come on. They're not the most difficult of fights. They're annoying, but they're not the most difficult of fights. So that's, I mean, something to say. <sighs> Did I get more? I picked up stuff. I still got just those two. Don't you dare! Ha ha ha! Now what? Now what? Now you put me up somewhere you can't get to me. Yeah, because you keep falling. Yeah. Do I get crits? Can I get crits? I'm not seeing. I'm, I don't seem to get crits. Oh, I think I got another talisman. Oh, I think I got them all. So if I put you, 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 and you. Oh, something magical's happening. Something magical's happening. Hopefully, I've figured this out. Did I get what I needed? Do I need to jump up here? Can I get you? Oh, are, are you inside? Ah, oh, you're inside. Okay, the Swamp Talisman. Okay, let's go. We've got what we needed. Let's get back. Let's put a marker on here real quick. Just so I don't forget. Right here. Ah! Stupid rat. Leave me alone. All I'm trying to do is just put a marker on my map and get out of here. Okay, um, Ru Druid, that's what they were called, right? We'll just call them Druid, and we'll put that guy, because, yeah, I killed them all. That's why we're putting it that way. All right, cool, so we got our, our talisman thing, which means now all we gotta do is just click on a sapling, and good stuff will happen. I'm kind of lost in where I'm supposed to be going. Where's my map? Let me bring up my map. Um, where's home? No, it, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Almost straight this way. Okay. Now I'm heading the right direction. Well, that wasn't that bad of a fight. Kind of cool. Totally different. Something new I've never done before. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here just as I'm journeying back so we don't spend all that time. And once I get back to the base, I will... Not base, my home. It's a home. It's not a base. Once we get back, I'll start again. So this is something new I haven't seen before. There is a zombie riding a, I can't tell if it's a horse or if it's a zombie horse. I've never actually seen that before. But he's got diamond armor and I want it. And he's stuck in like my little, where I took water from before. It's called a fallen mount. That was interesting. Yeah, I was just getting home and I saw the zombie kind of waiting for me and I was like, huh, interesting. He looked like he had diamond armor on him. Did I pick it up? I didn't. I didn't get anything cool from it, but that was cool. That was something different. Apparently the mobs uh, get a little more aggressive as the ages go on too. So that's some good to know information. Um, but yeah, we are back home. And I want to go put this portal. I don't know if it's going to be like a huge tree or what it's going to end up like. So I kind of want to... I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I kind of... Oh, you know what? Let me go make some more stew. While we're here. Um, I want to put it by the other two portals until I find a good place to put it. But I'm thinking out in the valley might be the best place for it. So that might be what we end up doing. Um, I need... Carrots. I don't have carrots right now. Do I have carrots <clears throat> over here? And how's my nutrition doing, by the way? Good. Fruit's the lowest one. Okay. 
Do I have carrots? I have carrots. Cool. Let's grab a couple. And I think it's one per. I can do five bowls. How many bowls do I have in here? I have ten. Okay, so two carrots. That's all I need. Okay. And we'll go put the rest back. And I want to kind of get my stuff sorted and kind of organized as well. So let's put the carrots back. Okay. And some useful drops. I know I picked some up at one point and mm -hmm. this, yeah, the bee and the honeycomb. Um, the rest of the stuff, maybe I should just make another chest. Let's just make another chest just for, you know, in between episodes, right? So I can dump stuff and then get it all sorted out later. All right, so we'll put you there. Um, the mob drops I can put away. Horse pelt, sheep pelt. Um, I'm going to need more white fleece, which I don't have room for now because I just filled this thing up. Okay, rest of it's going here. Fleece I don't need. The block of wicker goes with that. Uh, marsh root. I don't need the sticks. Or you, 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 or you. Cool. And then in here, I'm going to start sticking just more more useful items that, um, well, that I want to carry on me. And let's grab a sapling here. Let's grab just an oak sapling. There we go. And let's go see if we can make this portal and then see what else we got to do. So I didn't check on the achievement. Um, where were you at? Right here. Okay. Oh, okay. So I still have to make the portal. I have to make the portal to do it. Okay. So I think this is kind of like the middle of my island. So this might be a really good place to do it and have this tree. I just have a feeling this tree is going to be big. Like that's kind of my feeling. It's going to make a big tree. And if that's the case, I kind of want it in like a cool spot, nice and open like that. And do we just right click? Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. And how do I get out of here? Um, I didn't think I was going to get stuck in it. Um, can I get out? Okay. Here we go. I, I figured it was going to be a big tree. I didn't think I was going to get stuck in it. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder, well, let's see what else it has to say. So, so I did that. I just did that. So why did okay locate the druid circle? Yeah, kill the druid. Yep, use the talisman pieces to create the swamp talisman. Did it? Click the talisman on a placed sapling to create the large portal to the between lands. I did that. It's right here. Why haven't I got credit for it? And I'm kind of scared to go through because I don't know if I'm going to get back because <laughs> I was reading the next one, and it says tools brought into this between lands from other dimensions will not be effective. You need to craft new tools and weapons to progress. Note. This advancement specifically requires you to craft a weed wood sword to complete. Weed wood sticks are found by breaking weed wood bushes, commonly found in the between lands. Note they are not available by chopping wood. And then a smelter. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. Do I have to stand in the portal? So I didn't actually have to punch holes. Let me fix that then. If I didn't have to punch holes, then I can just run through the doors. Do I need to like shift or something? It feels like, okay, I was like, it feels like weird stuff's happening, so hopefully I'm going to the right place here. Uh, you never know. You never know. Wilderness. It's very dark. Um, I feel as though maybe the map hasn't loaded yet. Um, I can't move. I don't seem to be able to move or do anything. Oh, I'm scared I'm going to be stuck here. Oh, something just loaded and happened. What? Oh, oh, here we go. I'm back. Okay. Something weird happened there. Um, did that give me the achievement to... Okay, that did. So we went through, we got the achievement. Cool. Um, I kind of want to try that one more time. What is this stuff? Swamp Reed. I kind of want to try to go through one... Oh, we're here. Wait, hold on. Oh, man. I thought, like, like, I go through a door and I'm, like, in the other one. 
Okay. Um, well, this is creepy. What in the world? I ain't messing with you. I ain't messing with you. Um, it says my stuff. Oh, that is so cool. Look at it. It all disappeared. Oh, no, it doesn't. So, it said my weapons and stuff aren't useful here, but I have them. Okay, there's a bad guy right there. I don't... I don't know what to do. Um, I don't want to mess with him. Okay, let's get out of here a little bit. And let's look at the achievements that I needed to do. Um, I need... Uh, we wood sticks are found by breaking we wood bushes. Okay, well, let's try. Is this weed wood? No. Nope. Oh my gosh. I just... Oh, I'm so scared here right now. I need weed wood. Is this weed wood? Getting harder. Okay, so I got some weed wood. That just makes a chopping block. Hey, back off, homie. I ain't got no, I ain't got no business with you. Oh, there's two of them. I ain't got no business with you guys. Come on. I got no business with you guys here. This is crazy. I, I've never heard of this mod, and so I don't know anything about this biome or anything. Can you die already? A swamp hog is what it's called. Okay. What is that, mud? Yeah, I was really slow on that. Alright, so... This is crazy. Um... Let me... I mean, I guess I can make sticks and stuff if I make the chopping block, right? Did I get that wood? Yes, I did. Okay. So let's do that real quick. You on top of you. That makes this. Right, so we'll do that real quick. And then we'll make ourselves a chopping block. And I'll get some more wood. So then I can make some sticks and try to make some tools. I guess that's what we got to do here um so you chopping block right there put you on it and I need to make an axe I need sticks I need sticks um to make an axe do these are these gonna give me sticks ah sticks good 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 all right, and I guess I need to make flint then. How? I gotta make flint tools? Um, because I can't make the planks. Can I just make a crafting table? I didn't even think about that. Can I make a crafting table? No, because I need to chop them up. Can I? Well, I know it says it's useless, but I'm still gonna try. Oh, it did work. Okay, cool. You lied to me. You lied to me and said one of my tools are useless. Alright, so I needed to make a weedwood sword. I think that's what it said, right? Um, yes. So, give me that. Move you sticks and weedwood planks. Bink and bink. And like that. And I need a rock. <laughs> Is there a rock around here somewhere? Come on, I need a rock somewhere. Oh my gosh, my mud is so slow. Ah, there's a rock. Don't make all these... There's so many scary noises. Oh, there's weedwood bushes. Okay. I think, yeah, that was an achievement because I needed to get the sticks from the weedwood bush. Okay. And... Let's make our crafting rock here. Wow. It seems like it was like just yesterday. At the same time, it seems like it was so long ago. Okay, let's look up the weedwood sword. Um, this guy. I need this guy. Oh, I need a weedwood stick. The, I need to place this guy, not the other one. There we go. What else am I missing here? Weedwood plank, weedwood plank, weedwood stick. That's what I did. Okay, hold on. Can I just make a crafting table? Ooh, a weedwood crafting table. That's kind of cool. Okay. So, that didn't last very long, did it? Um, so plank, plank, and stick. 
Oh, the Wee Wood Stick Hold Your Inventory. Ah, there we go. Cool. Got that one done. Now a smeltery and all that stuff. Um, we'll hold off on that. We will hold off on that. We'll come back. We'll, we will come back and adventure into this place for a while. But I want to head back because I want to see what other fun things we can do. Like get the glass. That was an achievement. And uh, ah, that is really cool. I mean, that's it's creepy. Like just the sounds in there were creepy. But, you know, it's all good. All right, let's go. So I just run out. Cool. All right. I'm... I'm, I'm suffering from hunger. I really need to pay attention to my hunger better. All right, there we go. So let's head back. We'll go get that glass from the smell tree up there. And um, maybe we can put some windows in my house. Or not really overly worried about the windows, but it just, it's been something I've been waiting to do. So, um, yeah, so you go there. So is it going to be Tinker's glass or is it going to give me regular glass? That's... That's a question. So it's create glass by first melting sand in the melter or smeltery and pouring it into a basin. Come on. You can do it. Oh my gosh, you're so slow. Oh my gosh, you're so slow. Come on. It looks like it's going to be vanilla glass. So that's cool. Yeah, that's not Tinker's glass. That is vanilla glass. Okay, cool. Well, that achievement's done. Oh, I see iron, gold, star power, roses. Uh, what did I just say? Oh, roses are red, lapis is blue. That's funny. Star power. Um, oh, paper, vanilla paper. I can do that. This is going to take a while, so we'll come back. We got the achievement done at least. And <clears throat> we can definitely go make some vanilla paper over here with all this sugar cane I have. One, two, three. And... One, two, three. Of course, it's not that easy. Of course, it's not. Paper. How do we make vanilla paper? Um, on a drying rack with pulp. Okay, so I need glue, sawdust, and water. Okay. Um, I got some sawdust in one of these. Okay, there's the glue. And sawdust. Maybe it's over here in this. I had sawdust somewhere. Ah, there it is. I have a feeling it's going to be... Well, I don't know. Can I do it over here? Can I do it in this guy over here? Pulp. And this is one glue and three sawdust. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Um, one, one, two, three. Oh, and a free hand. And we'll get some pulp. All right, then we'll dry this up and get some paper. And I think this probably will lead to the constellation stuff that I saw. Um, let's see. So paper right next to it is constellation. Um, acquire constellation paper to fill your information in your astral sorcery journal. Right click while holding the astral sorcery journal to store your constellation paper to save space. So let's look up that because I know nothing about this mod whatsoever so constellation paper we got to go make that on a necronomical ritual okay so we need some gold so that's going to be a, a hunt um aquamarine we know where to get that and celestial rock crystals where do we get these where how do we get these um there's no recipe so i guess let's open the journal <laughs> let's do some reading while we're waiting on that paper Okay, so was it this one I had to zoom in on? I'm assuming it's the only one I see. Okay. Move in here. Okay, so it was rock crystal properties. Okay. Uh, almost every new mined rock crystal is unique. Uh, they vary in size, purity, and shape, and there seems to be no way to absolutely determine what those will be during the mining process. While increasing the purity of the rock crystal does not seem to be possible at the moment, grinding off small bits of them with a grindstone to form them into a more suitable shape seems easy enough. Um, crystal tools. Yeah, so I need the crock crystals first. Crystal growth. So how do I get them? That's the question here. Um, looking glass, spectral relay. This, maybe I'm in the wrong section. Maybe there's a different section that I need to be looking for. Like up here, discovery. I think this is where I saw the table at. 
that we made. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ores. Yeah. The resonating one. Okay. When using a crafting table near one of the strange crystals in the ancient runes, the crystal instinctively focuses a single ray of light into the... Okay. Let's look up the recipe for... What was that thing called again? Resonating wand. Let's see. Because I have a feeling it might change just due to the fact that... Yeah. Okay. So marble, two aquamarine, and ender pearl. I should be able to make that. See, I had a feeling it was going to be different because the mod pack obviously changes stuff. So, do I have any more aquamarine? I may have used it all. Nor do I have any ender pearls. <laughs> so, that'll be a hunt. All right. So, we're going to have to head back to um, the Darkland. No, the Beneath. We're going to have to head back to the Beneath. And let's see if that paper's done yet. There it is. Cool. So, papers please got it done awesome awesome so we're gonna have to go back to beneath to get some of those items to make these uh constellation papers because i'm assuming and and this is going to take some research here um this unlocks various crafting recipes that are not normally possible the simplest object of which can be crafted is a basic wand that can be used to interact with various types of starlight sensitive devices Resident wand also has some other curious properties when it is held in either hand at night it vibrates and emits electric spark okay so i'm gonna have to basically use that wand to find the crystals is that what it's saying a white light and gather in seeming random locations around the surface of the land. Nothing seems out of place or special on the surface, though. Maybe there's something underground. Okay. And I'm figuring that's probably where I'm going to have to get those crystals. Um, ancient shrine. Yeah. So I think this might be a good wrapping up point just because it looks like there's a lot I got to kind of look into. And I'm going to have to head back to the beneath to go get more aquamarine. Hopefully find an enderman. And so I can get an ender pearl. And uh, yeah. So. I think this seems like a good location, a good time to stop. We've got a lot of accomplished in today's episode and it'd be nice to actually not go over time for once. Right? So I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up here. I got a bow. I'm so used to my bow. I've got a bow. I'm using it. Is there more of you guys around? I saw a guy with armor on. Let me shoot that guy with armor. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good place to wrap up for today. And then when we come back in the next episode, um, we can start taking a look at more, of the um like the other options the other stuff aha ah, ha, ha iron boots are you better or worse than these these have three armor you have two my dark quartz boots are actually better so i'm gonna go ahead and keep you <gasps> skeleton die oh nice one shot one kill cool i'll take that all right so um yeah until next time travelers y'all know the deal i'm slider havoc and i'm out of here peace